Hello everyone, and welcome to the My Hero Ones Justice 2 figure skating tournament. I am your humble host, Mr. Alberonen. Today, we have three amazingly skilled competitors who terrify me with their skills. I am super thankful for their submissions, but I would like to clarify that you do not need to be anywhere near this skill level in order to compete in this tournament. Because if that was the rule, I wouldn't even be able to compete in my own tournament. That's not very fair. So even if you started like five days ago, as long as you do something cool, maybe you do a comeback, maybe do some combos, as long as there's something interesting, you can enter in this tournament and we'll have a bit of fun. And I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay we have today. And honestly, let's just get into the first match. There's nothing else for me to say. Okay, so our first competitor today is Webhead1998, rocking an Aizawa. Okay, let's see what he has. Oh, starting off with the Just Guard, an instant four points. Well, interesting combo from his opponent. Bruh. There. I'm getting hit again. It's okay if we can bring it back. Okay, just a basic one point combo. Ooh, seven point Just Guard punish. Damn, drop the combo, but still looks up. Another one? This man's too good with his Just Guards. Holy moly. Carry it! Again! A seven point just guard punish into a plus ultra combo. Holy moly. Jeez Louise. Another just guard, another four points before. Oh no. Can you take out the round? Bit of a random tilt attack there. But uh, oh, is he gonna be able to combo for this Jiro? No, but he still gets the round. Wow. 41 already, and it's only been one round. That is crazy. All these just guards are super impressive. Holy, holy moly. Another one, another four points there. Oh, getting hit by the staggers, though. Another one? Yep, another just guard. He's racking in these four points. Oh, maybe going in for a full combo here. Yeah, extending it fully with Aizawa's cool combos. A little bit of a drop there, but it was a cool combo, so it's going to be three points. Ooh, punish on the yellow attack? No, I missed punish. And no just guard there, what's going on? <laughs> okay, here we go, another seven points. Ooh, and going in for a bit of a fancier extension. Now that's a nice combo. It was interrupted, but that's still gonna be seven points. Lost three, so down from ten to seven, but still very good. I'd like to see some fancy combos. Ooh, getting punished for his random tilt attacks. Oh, is this going to be the end? Oh, a dropped combo there. That's only going to be one point because of the drop. He's got a lot of meter, though. Oh. Are you sure about that? <laughs> okay, so that is going to be five points for the plus ultra finish, three points for the short combo into it, and ten points for the victory. Holy moly, that brings him up to, what, 77? Wow. Man, that that was an awesome match. That was some good stuff, Webhead 1998. Um, overall, the gameplay was super amazing. The rushdown was awesome with all of those just guards. Like, man, those just guards were on point. So I'm going to give him an overall extra mark of 10 points for that just overall awesome rushdown, leaving him with a grand total mark of 87. You can see why he's the number on Aizawa on PlayStation. Good job, Webhead1998. We will move on to the next competitor now. Okay, so our next competitor is Rodrigo101, and he's going to be using Muscular. And yes, he's definitely going to be getting bonus points for that. It's me, Mario! Okay, how are we going to start? We're starting off with a quirk too, showing him all the movement we have. Oop, getting hit first though. Can't break it at the beginning of the match either, so let's see what All Might's going for here. Oh, All Might tried to go for a recovery reset, but Rodrigo read it and got two points for countering his reset. Ooh, getting punished there. A bit reckless with the Quark 2s. Yeah, had to break that and take another combo. Ooh, using this time to charge it. Oh, but he didn't do it fully. Interesting. Maybe he didn't want to get punished for it. Oh, let go of guard too early again there. Not starting too well for poor Rodrigo. Oh, he was able to break that just in time. And getting punished for the yellow attack. 
not having a great start. He's only gotten one hit so far in this match. Ooh, okay, nice dodge into the Quark 2. And extending into a combo. Wall splat, very nice. Into the yellow attack. Kind of a pseudo reset since that combo doesn't work anymore. RIP Musculus combo. Okay, nice combo though. Five points for that one. Oh no. Can he make the comeback with that? Oop, no. All Might's gonna say no and use it. It's okay, I believe in Rodrigo. He can make this comeback. He really wants to charge up the muscles. Oh, damn it. I think he meant to do a Quirk 1 there, not a Tilt Quirk 1, because that Tilt Quirk 1 is punishable. And the Quirk 1 is not. Getting comboed again by All Might. Not, not going too well for him. Oh, almost was able to convert off of that, but not. Okay, kind of dropped the combo, but kept himself safe at least. Yeah, tried to go for the combo, but you know, that doesn't work anymore. So only one point for that. RIP muscular's combos. Ooh, was able to break that just in time. I was very lucky. Ooh, nice dodge into the punish. That was two points for that. Okay, let's see what combo he has. Okay, just going for a meterless combo. Maybe he's saving it for something else, but you know. Ooh, and nice, he's using his altitude after the end of the combo to have time to charge up his quirk one. That was smart. And another read with his counterattack in the air, shutting down all of All Might's aerial attacks. Oh, he was able to stuff his combo. Very basic combo there, but it'll still be worth a point or two. Oh, nice dodge with the quirk, quirk 2, trying to get in the air, out of the way. Nice dodge. Oh, and nice yellow attack to avoid the eater and comboing off of it. Very nice. Bringing him to 23 with the inclusion of the 10 point uh, victory bonus. Okay, nice. Kept himself safe. Some decent pressure there, keeping it safe. Ooh, a nice do- oh, damn it. He had a dodge, but it still got hit somehow, because apparently all my foot goes behind him as well. Ooh, that's gonna be a chunk. But he's wishing he would have broken that now. Ooh, yikes, yikes. Oh, and got caught again. It's not looking too good. Hey, okay, Lapuzic broke that time. Okay, now he's got double arms up. Oh, okay, nice air counter to what he was to All Might. And oh, nice, he used his um Quirk 1 on Wake Up in order to get the charged up muscles. Very smart. Almost like a recovery reset off of the ground. Okay, still not looking too bright for him. Oh, got hit by a yellow attack again. Okay, if he makes his comeback, that's gonna be worth quite a few points. Ooh, <laughs> that Quirk 2 is amazing for Wall Splats. And yep, straight into the plus ultra 2. That's gonna do a nice big chunk of damage. It might even even out the health bars, to be honest. Good thing he was saving all of that meter before when he kept doing his um, his combos without doing dash cancels. This is where it actually counts. Now we can get these big chunks of damage. Okay, that was not as much damage as I was expected. He still has quite a lot of work to go in this comeback. Oh, that was a cool encounter. They both broke each other's attacks, but Rodrigo got the better the better end of the stick. He got a bit more damage. There. Oh no. Okay, few. I think he was saving to Euro support. And look, again, he's using his altitude as time to charge up his quirk one. Very smart. Nice dodge. What? Random tilt quirk two, and it worked. And All Might doesn't have any support, so this is guaranteed. Into the plus ultra. So that's gonna be three points for the combo, five points for the plus ultra, 20 points for that comeback, and 10 points for the victory as always. Holy moly, bringing him up to 71. That comeback really helped him out. Wow. Impressive stuff from Rodrigo. And now for my adjustment factors. So, apart from the fact that he was rocking a muscular, which everyone ridicules for being like the worst character in the game, he barely has anything going for him now. But even that fact aside, he managed to turn this match around from having negative three points against an All Might who was consistently hitting his combos, breaking muscular's combos, and doing everything well. I honestly think Rodrigo needs major props for pulling that turnaround, because that was super impressive. And it's even more impressive that he did it with Muscular, a character that doesn't really have much damage consistently, he doesn't really have very good pressure, he doesn't really have that much going for him anymore. So, very good job, Rodriguez. I'm gonna give you 12 points for adjustment factors, 
bringing you up to um 83 points very good job rodrigo see you guys in the next match okay so now we're gonna have a tamaki played by pop and just a quick word before the match actually starts unfortunately the footage of Pop's match is in an outdated version of the game, so the combos that he does that are no longer possible will be severely penalized. But trust me, he does not need it, and you'll see why. He is not at a lack of points in this gameplay. So, let's get straight into it. Really are like the sun. Ooh, instant penalty for using the dub. Just kidding. Okay, how we- Oh, straight in with a combo. Let's see what he has. Oh, yeah. Now, you know you're against the smart Tamaki when they just actually go for wall splat combos. This is a very handy wall frame. Oh, drop the combo, though, so only one point. This is a very good map for Tamaki because it's a wall central. You can get a wall splat from basically any combo now. Oh, just guard punish. Seven points right off the bat. And, uh, yeah, so here's some combo situation that is no longer possible. So unfortunately, the points that he gets from these combos are going to be reduced. So only one point for that one. And is this going to be a wake-up reset? Oh, yes, it is. What? Okay, yeah, that's the thing about pre-patch Tamaki's Plus Ultra 1. Sometimes, oh, a nice punish and a perfect. Holy moly, already up to 45 thanks to that. I think it's 20 points for the flawless match. Wow. But yeah, and that was a nice... um wake up reset he did before with the plus ultra one and i didn't even realize that the match was a flawless that's awesome okay this one definitely is not he's having it a little bit harder this round but Ow. Ooh, damn his opponent just got at him that's how you know you're against someone that knows what they're doing you only really see just guards in like the highest level of one's justice oh no and he's going for a gravity reset Oh, he messed it up slightly, but still- Ooh, that's scary stuff. When your opponent goes for a gravity reset, that's how you know you're done. <laughs> oh my goodness. But Pop's out here with the combos. It's not going to be worth too many points, but at least he gets a lot of damage from them. And is this going to work again? That's a really good- Oh my goodness! Just got it to get out of the way. Well, his punish kind of didn't really work, but still- Oh, he ended up punishing it anyways. Holy moly. This is a scary match. I'm glad I don't come across too many people like this Mirio. Because <laughs> I would get wrecked. Ooh. Tried, Pop tried to sidestep there, but Mirio's attack still hit him. And is that going to kill? It did. Ooh, okay. So, the minus 10 points for the loss. And if anyone doesn't understand why that is, it's just because if you're getting so many extra points from the extra time, you need a bit of a penalty for losing a round. Because, you know, if you lose a round, you're having much more opportunity to actually do things like combos and stuff, because you've got a whole another round. But, oh, okay. Bit of a weird scramble there. The Pop's going in for another combo. Oh, and going in for a wall splat. And that's what we like to see. Hey, oh, and he actually got the proper conversion from the wall splat this time. So that's going to be worth even more, about five points. Wow. Points. Ooh. Nice gravity reset. It was interrupted, but that is, was still a very good going for that. Very good idea. If only, is, if only Mirio didn't have that support to break it, that would have been really scary. Ooh, oh no. I think that's a punish. Oh. These kids with their just guards, what the hell? Oh my goodness. And he's going in for a full combo afterwards, that is crazy. I cannot believe these people and their just guards. Oh, and caught Mirio running around a little bit too nonchalant. Basic combo. Oh, I think I know what he's going for. Yep, another wake up reset. But is Mirio gonna just guard it this time? Oh no, he got hit by it. Ooh, and the Denki Sport, and that's the plus ultra finish. Wow, so that's gonna be two points for the combo, five points for the, like, wake up setup, five points for the plus ultra finish, and obviously the ten points for the victory. Holy goodness, that is a lot of points, Pop. Ending the game with 71 points, and now for the judges' adjustment factors. So, there's a lot to consider in this one. So, not only did Pop have a lot of consistent just guarding and just guard punishes on top of that, which garnered 10 points for Webhead's Aizawa, 
And on top of those Just Guards, his opponent was also performing Just Guards, Just Guard Punishes, and Gravity Resets, and all those kind of things. So, on top of the 10 points for being able to do, like, Just Guards and stuff consistently in his rushdown, he also gets extra points for going against a really strong opponent. Like, seeing gameplay like that is something you only see in, like, the high-level tournaments of My Hero 1's Justice 2. You almost never see people going for Gravity Resets, you know, in regular online online games and going for just guard. So the fact that he won against an opponent who was doing that is really impressive. So I'm going to give pop adjustment factor of 18 points, 10 for the just guards and eight for going against a super strong opponent. And that brings him to a total of 89 points. Congratulations, pop. Congratulations. You have the highest score we have seen in this competition so far. That is not saying much considering there's only been three opponents, but your gameplay was definitely impressive. And a note to the other two competitors that we had today, yours was also amazing and I would be so terrified to come against you playing online. And I'm super glad that you put in your submissions and don't worry, you're not out of the game yet. We haven't seen how everyone else is doing and you had really high points considering 50 is the average and you guys are all in the 70s and 80s. Like, wow. Wow. I can't wait to see more from you guys. Anyways, to the competitors, thank you so much for your submissions and congratulations for your awesome gameplay. You guys are awesome at this game. Makes me jealous, to be honest. So, thanks for submitting your gameplay. And to the viewers, thank you so much for watching all the way and I'll see you tune in to the next episode or the next week or whatever I decide to call each installment. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you later.